Hi there and welcome back. So I am back for another embellishment video. I was unsure if I was going to come back or, or not and I have. <laughs> so here I am. So we've got three more things uh, to make. We've got this uh, button closure which I've never done one of these before. Um, it took me a while to work out how, how people even did them. Uh, so yeah, I've worked that out. And um, this is what I thought was really good. Because um, when I got my elastic out, I thought, oh, you could have this. And then you could move this across. And it saves all that, you know, the pages uh, coming up. So I suppose you could have two um, in a book. So yeah, I like that. And plus, it's, um, I mean, they're, they're probably a bit chunky, these beads. But um, yeah, nice to, to hang out as well. So we're going to make uh, some of those. And um, I went through um, some fabric. I've got a little tin of fabric things what I'd made last year. And I thought, oh, these are ideal uh, for the daisy journal. The greens, you know, got the beiges in. Um, so I've got those out to put in with my embellishments and then I thought I could do some uh, little uh, charms hanging off so you know if that was stuck down we'd, we'd see, see that probably sticking out a bit too much but you get the you get the gist um, and then I thought oh I'll try uh, the button thing what, what we did earlier and um, I got some patina and just patinaed over these um, daisies because I'd bought some and they were silver and the patina I've got is aged bronze and I literally just got it on my fingers and, and rubbed it in. So let's um let's make a start. So this one um I'd, I cut the elastic a couple of times to work out how long I actually needed it and what I did is three times I think I did let's have a lot so the elastic I've got I think it's the the one mil or two mil it's really uh thin uh this is a brown uh, I think I got it on Amazon I'll put it on my Amazon favorites under uh bits and bobs so to go you know all the way around is obviously two and then we want to, you know, because we're pulling it back to here. So I went three. So let's see if that's correct. And obviously we don't want it, you know, really, really tight because this is an empty uh, notebook. And this is the kind of size that I will use. This is one of our A4s. Uh, folded in half to make uh, an A5. So I've got these really uh, big buttons what the lovely Megan sent me and I'm going to go up so from underneath through and I've got nice big holes and then back through like so. I'm going to get it you know up to half and I'm going to tie it as far down as I can. And I'm going to tie it twice. So that's one. Pull it tight and then two. Like so. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to find this really useful because no end of times, you know, if I'm doing something, I've forgot. Um, I've not thought about the closure and then sometimes all you're left with is being able to uh, put some ribbon around it or something so I thought this would make a nice change then I'm going to pull this all the way so the knot is at the bottom I don't know if you could pull it even more so so the knot was in the actual uh, buttonhole I suppose it depends how big your buttonhole is but I, I can't on this so then all you do is pull it round this one is a little bit tight um, and and that so it looks as if you need to go three and and a bit so three and a bit okay so that's that and oh dear 
yeah that is too tight and obviously there's nothing nothing in this but i can use that on something smaller um and i've got these I, I don't know what they are they like transport tokens um i do have two so i was gonna do one with that so let's do it again one two three and a half I'll go we may be able to get the the right um, thing so I don't know how I'm going to put this on am I going to do that and then do that yeah that's nice oh I like that okay let's get the the knot in yep Okay, you're not going to be able to move that, are you, to, to there? Well, I suppose you could. Yeah. Oh, it's way too complicated for me. <laughs> the brain just can't, can't fathom. Oh, I don't want it like that. Have I undone it now? Yeah. Right, let's do this. I'm just gonna do it like that okay let's try it try it out i don't know if it'll do it or not yeah but see that doesn't oh i don't know i was gonna say i don't think it lays flat but i think it probably would so it's definitely three and a half so let's try it at three and three quarters because i think once you know once i know what it is and hopefully I can remember it one two three three and three quarters because I suppose <coughs> you're using some on the knot aren't you so I might as well knot this first I don't know what I've done scratch myself there I so I noticed it earlier I'd got an itch there and I thought oh crikey look at the mess I've made itching but I, I haven't um but I did get my um well, I want to say I was pottering in the garden yesterday, but that makes it sound as if I was gardening. I wasn't. <laughs> I was just moving uh, some stuff around. And, um, <laughs> yeah, I must have caught myself on, on something then because I picked up a bit of rubbish that had blown on, you know, why it's been windy in, in the winter and stuff we'd got you know, people's rubbish on this garden and stuff. So I was just picking some of that up. There wasn't loads, there was only a you know, a few a few packets what I'd blown. And yeah, I must have caught myself. I'd not noticed it there at the time. Alright, that's oh I like that. Then you just have to add your knot, wouldn't you? So yeah, that's like three and three quarters, so I wonder if four, you know, thinking that this is an empty, um, oh dear, <laughs> because this is an empty, um, thing, but I haven't got any more buttons to try, so that will, that will do for now, we kind of, you know, get the, get the gist, so let's have a go at, uh, this, so I did this twice the length, and oh a bit further down going, why is that cut off i don't know um and i'm going to do it so i've got a bit of a long one and get that like the same size Yeah, that will do. So let's get a oh. then I don't I need to bear in mind that I'm putting a knot there, don't I? So let's just bring it down a touch. Okay. So that's that. Let me just try try that. 
yeah, not super. Yeah, okay. Yep, sorry, so I just banged you. I'm gonna say the camera's quite, quite close. So here, I'm going to want, obviously I need beads with biggish holes, but I don't want one that's gonna go over um, there. So let's try this one. And yeah, I'm just threading them. I suppose if I wanted smaller beads on, um, I could use the wire that I did. And I'm going to try and poke that bit what's left over inside. And then I'm going to pull it as much as I can. And hopefully that will just then stay, stay inside. So it hides uh, that other bit. I like that. Right, what else shall we have? Let's have one of these. Shall I have two of those? Then I might finish it off with. Shall I finish it off with this? Because I, th I would then want. Oh, that's nice. A hole what's a little bit smaller. Um. So it doesn't go over the over the knot. And just give it a little bit of room to to move up and down. Oh, will that go over there? Yeah. Let's try and never know good at keep getting the knots in the same place. Oh, now I've got a really big knot. Yeah, see so that'll stop stop that and then I'll just cut it off to there. Oh I really like these. And that's that. <laughs> very, very good. Yeah, like them. Right, so should we do should we do some more? Yeah. Right, let's um find the end. I'm guessing that's where that bit came from because I can never find the end, so I always do that. Oh let me just cut some off. And then eventually you just laugh with loads of bits, aren't you? Because You've never found the proper proper end. So we've got that and then we want a bit more. So we'll do that. Just gonna bring that up slightly. Bring it up a bit more. Let's have a look. A bit more. Okay. I'm gonna knock that off. I'm going to cut that before I... Yeah, that's super. Okay, not it again. Right, let's... I wonder if that one's too big. Let's have a look. I think that hole may end up being too big. Oh, oh I am surprised. Okay. Try this one. And I'm gonna put the elastic through this one, the second piece. Can't really see. That's it. I think that'll stay in. Okay. Um let's try this one. Yeah, that's nice. Maybe I could go the smaller one. I feel like I want another one on there. Should I have that other? Oh, in fact, let's put that on and that one. And this one. Oh yeah, that's nice. <clears throat> I think, yeah, it's too big. I don't think I'm going to be able to do a big enough knot to, to keep it on. Oh, come on. Oh, 
so I'll leave it at, at that. Oh, that's beautiful. So that's that one. Let's do one more because I really like those. <laughs> so we're going one, two, and a bit. So yeah, really good for using those bigger uh, beads up. I'm just a touch. So I'm filming this uh, the day after, so it is now Thursday. Just had uh, some good news. Ryan's just nipped home from dinner, and um, yeah, he'd applied for a different job where where he works, um, another management position. And um, yeah, he's, he's got the job, so how fabulous. Um, it's, I think it's, do they call it secondment? Um, till September. So I only got one hole. I think the paint's gone over that. And um, yeah, hopefully um, he'll do a good job and they'll, they'll keep him on. The holes are blocked up and I can't. Can't be bothered with them. So yeah, that was nice. Obviously, it's um, a pay rise as well, and um, yeah, it's one step closer to the actual position that that is um, aiming for. So yeah, really pleased for them. It can come off quite. Um, I don't know. He's he's got an accent. Uh, that's very um it's got no tone um to, to his voice if that makes any sense um so yeah i sometimes think that people must think that um it, you know he doesn't get very excited about things but it, it's just the tone um of his voice so when he's ever going for um things i always think oh i wonder you know um he he doesn't talk with like passion in his in his voice um and i just but oh, that's really not long enough is it shall we just do that as a two one yes let's because it'd be a shame not to use that um so yeah anyway he's got it so i'm really chuffed it's nice when nice things happen right so that's that one just a two two one so i've done it done enough of those so let's do um these ones so obviously it's very similar to what we was doing did i show you those ones oh i just put a plain daisy one on that one and then i just put a plain button one on that one yeah i did those right so i've just got a few uh the little buttons out these are really uh small small ones they're like mother of pearl ones well they're not like it they are <laughs> they are right so i don't think i need to get the um thing is out so we're going to put the first hoop in one of the holes you are going to need buttons with uh four holes to do it the way that i've just done it so let me get this on and then i'll show you what i've done okay so so far we've got this top one and we've got one in the side and then we're going to have one on the other side so not at the bottom hole of the two sides so. it's a bit more fiddly when i'm showing you because obviously when i was doing it um without you um i didn't close them to do to put the next button on i just did it but i wanted to to show you so we're going all the way down that one and then on this side 
Yeah. And obviously you could do them longer, but because I want them for the uh, page edge, I think I think just using five is is enough. So that's it so far, lot. Gonna put another one in the bottom. So yeah, I've definitely run out of embellishment um things now. Um there would only be keep being variations of. So tomorrow we will make our first first make with the daisy things. Oh, I need to put another one on, don't I? And we're going to make some... Well, we're going to use paper paper bags. So I'm going to be using small lunch bags. Um, I've got some normal paper bags, so we might do normal paper bags as well. So that's that. So I'll do a couple more without keep, keep stopping. Yeah, I really like these, and I've got a bag full of of these. I think Alison uh, Crafty Alley Create sent me um, some, and I think I'd got some. Um, so then I ended up with with quite a lot. So this is a really nice one. Hopefully, Alison will see this. I think she'll like it. I don't know if I've ever seen Alison do anything um, like with beads. Can't remember. You have to tell me, Alison. I mean, probably like me is fingers. <laughs> fingers don't work. Right. Let's um. Yeah. It's funny because you know when when children are little, when they're first learning that pincer movement. It, they can pick everything up, can't they? Like the smallest bit. Um they can they can pick it up. It's like nothing is safe. Um, it used to amaze me, like, you know, just like the tiniest fluff off the carpet and you know, they'd they'd pick it up. Oh, I don't know if this one's or was I just oh, yeah, I was doing it in the wrong way. Oh, this is definitely a sit, maybe not sit and watch telly, because um, I don't think I'd be watching much, much telly, but um, yeah, it's definitely a sit, sit and relax. Um, you can make loads of these. So I think I've searched all my, <coughs> um, oh, God, all my tins and stuff and I think I've you know found everything what what I could possibly use in in this project I've got a few more of these um but I thought I'll save them for, for when I do botanical but if I do run out then I will I will use them use them all oh I've done it I was thinking I'd got another one to do that's that how many more buttons have I got? Right, let's um I'm just gonna make make another I think I'll because I've got an oddment here, I'm just gonna make um just a you know a straight one. Might as well use them up then put them away. And I just want a little one at the top. Yeah. I'm 
pink hey that's that one then just got one more five to do and and that's it that's it for today um i don't think i've got a lot else to to tell you um i'm going to see my middle daughter on saturday um my aunt's picking me up and we're going to um <clears throat> nip to her house because it's the birthday the day after so i'm going to take a, a present um and we've there's um if you're from the uk you'll have you'll know it um there's a range now where my daughter lives um and i've never been to one um and i saw alison had done um, a crafty haul video and she'd bought some stuff from the range and i can't I thought, I need to go. Uh, so I, I said to my aunt, why are we down there? And my aunt's not the greatest of shoppers. Um, I said, can we go to the range? I said, I won't be long. Um, I don't, you know, I don't want to look at everything. I said, I'm just really wanting to go and have a look at the craft store. She was like, yes, that'll be fine. So yeah, that'll be, be nice. But yeah, my daughter lives in, in the city centre and they work in the city centre. Which is it's nice when, when you're a young young couple. So they're buying their first house. And they've got a cat and, and a dog. So yeah, I'm looking forward to, to that. I think we're going quite early um in the morning. My aunt's a very like morning person. Um like she's up at I don't know, like five o'clock and she's taking the dogs about half past five, six o'clock every morning. Oh um so yeah, she's like always wants to get everything done in the morning. I'm like oh everything's in the afternoon for me so i was like no earlier than 10 so we're leaving it we're leaving at 10 so i imagine we'll be back about one one two o'clock it won't be a there we go um won't be a long um because i imagine lauren my daughter she'll be you know have plans and and what have you um <clears throat> she sometimes um has a party uh for her friends so yeah i don't know what they what they're doing so i'm gonna keep the well i'm gonna put those ones away but um i'll keep the daisy ones out because i can just put some uh pins on them and um you know as, as dangles right i'm going so i hope you enjoyed that i, I really enjoyed it because i've I think these are great and like i say if you put just push them to the side they do hold your uh page down so yeah wonderful and um yeah if you've got these bigger beads and uh yeah i think i need to work on the measurements of of this a bit more but um I, now we know how to do the actual knot when i used to see people do it it just i thought like oh it's a bit complicated i don't know why i thought that but um, I don't think I've ever seen one like this. It's always like been round the book and I've not been able to work out how, how it's done. But yeah, I've obviously done these a bit smaller. But I'll be doing notebooks of all different um, sizes. I've got a few more of those wooden buttons left. So where's the other one I've made? Sure I made four. Have I dropped one? Yes, I did. I can't slightly remember airing something drop right i'm going I've, that's enough wittering on from from me so i hope you have a lovely weekend um and i hope you're gonna enjoy um you know seeing and uh, maybe joining in with the um with the daisy mates obviously you don't have to make them with the with the daisy things you can do them with with anything i have got a playlist called D daisy journal for everything i've made so far all the ephemera and all the embellishments so if you uh, want to catch up on on them then please do um yeah that's it so i'll see you tomorrow bye for now